hi guys welcome and welcome back again to my channel today i'm going to be showing you how to make this typical nigerian men breakfast recipe this recipe is so delicious and i tell you nigerian men love to have this breakfast every sundays or saturdays so if you're interested in this recipe keep watching and please do not forget to like and also subscribe all right guys so the first ingredient you're going to need is beans so for this recipe you can use black eyed beans or honey beans so all you're gonna do is peel the beans soak for some hours and then you're gonna go ahead and blend so for the beans if you want to know how to peel your beans easily I'm going to leave the link in the description box just click and watch the video on how to peel your beans easily it's very easy to peel so once you peel the beans you're going to soak overnight or soak for some hours before blending you need that beans to be very very soft before you start to blend so right now you're going to add the beans into your blender add a little bit of water and blend this and another thing is that you're not going to make this too light make sure the the consistency is not too light it's thick you want that to be thick because we are going to be frying this so you want to blend this into a very smooth paste make sure it's very very smooth all right so i want to say a big thank you to all my amazing returning subscribers guys you all are awesome thank you so much for all the love the support thank you for always coming back to watch my videos thank you for the likes the share and the comment guys i really really appreciate i don't take any of you for granted thank you all so so much i truly appreciate and if today is your first time coming across my channel you are welcome thank you for clicking on this video and please do not forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and join this beautiful family don't forget to like this video and also share with your friends and family all right so after blending transfer to a deep bowl make sure the bowl is deep so transfer the mixture into the bowl, add salt, and now you're going to grab a hand whisk and whisk this for about five minutes. We need this to be fluffy, you know. The more you whisk this, the more you're going to get the right texture you need for this akara. So once the beans is blended, this is how it is. And once you fry this, it becomes akara. That's what we call it akara fried beans or <laughs> that's what we call it akara so you're gonna add some salt uh diced onions and pepper to this and just mix everything for about five minutes and once that is done go ahead and preheat some oil and guys the reason you need to mix this is the reason because once you start cutting it into the oil you can see the way they are floating on top of the oil that's the reason you need to mix if you don't mix this this is going to sink right into the bottom of your pan so make sure to mix very nicely to get the right texture you need for your akara so you're going to cut that into the hot oil and allow it to fry and we need this to be light golden brown or golden brown just yes, that's what we need this color is what we need for this akara and while i'm frying this i went ahead to place a kettle of water on the heat so we're just going to wait for the water to boil while we continue to fry our akara all right so i'll say the first batch of this akara that i fried that's for the kids and this one i'm scooping with this big spoon is for hobby I don't know if it's just my husband, but I would say typical Nigerian man love their kara very, very big. Not small like this one that I'm holding. So if you give my husband this small, <laughs> this small size of akara, he will tell you what is this one. Now, this one is too small. Why didn't you make it big? So he likes it very, very big. So if you are making this for a Nigerian man, make sure you grab a big spoon to scoop that beans, that grinded beans into your oil okay so we're going to fry these until they are nice and good in brown you want them to be crispy on the outside and eh? you want this to be very very fine very very beautiful just like this and once they're ready you're going to transfer to a strainer just scoop them out of the oil transfer to a strainer to drain any excess oil 
and make sure you are frying these on medium high not too high and make sure your heat is not too low all right guys this is what we are going to be pairing with our cara custard so i'm going to be preparing the custard and to prepare your custard or to make your custard go ahead and add your custard powder into a large mixing bowl add some water sugar and you're going to make sure you're not adding too much water to this because we don't want this to be too watery if it's too watery you're going to end up with a wrong making of this custard or pap so you want to mix that into a smooth consistency make sure it's very very smooth and at this point my water is already boiling make sure the water is boiling take the water or the kettle right from the fire then pour that boiling water into the mixture and this is what you're going to end up with just look at how beautiful thick it's looking and now you're going to mix all of that to combine make sure you're mixing mixing until everything is nicely combined and to enjoy custard guys you want to make it without any lumps make sure it's very very smooth and another yumminess to add to this is pig milk evaporated milk guys it add extra flavor extra yumminess extra tasty deliciousness to your custard it's just so amazing you can add evaporated milk or you can just grab pig milk powder just add as much as you like for me i love it to be you know to be loaded with it i need my custard to be sweet delicious creamy guys that's how i love it so for this big bowl is going to the men and for me guys i love to add chocolate powder to my so if you can see the small bowl right beside the big one that's going to be for me and my little girl so we're going to be enjoying this with pig milk and chocolate powder so after mixing this guys i just love to top it extra topping just like you're seeing in the video and that's it that's ready so here i have mine i'm just going to mix this i've added some pilk already and i'm going to add chocolate powder extra pilk milk and just mix this and guys what are you waiting for this breakfast is awesome it's delicious creamy delicious tasty and super flavorful don't forget to always top your custard with extra milk is so good and that's it guys so just take a look at the inside of this beautiful akara so fluffy and delicious guys this is our nigerian men breakfast for sundays and saturdays so if you're with a nigerian man go ahead and make this it makes them energetic strong and vibrant i hope you enjoyed the simple recipe if you did please do not forget to like share and also leave me with a comment let me know what you had for breakfast this weekend thank you so much for watching and i'll be seeing you in my next video enjoy